Hey guys, I am in my tour department and after Sunday's win with the uh, button back, the T10 button back, we call it the button back, um, a lot of questions. It's, it's cool because this is a putter we made 10 years ago that is still a great, playable, fantastic putter. Originally when we did the Terillium putter, TEI3, TE for Terillium, I for insert, three for three different materials, carbon steel, terillium, and the white's membrane vibration dampening, three. But when we did the newer Newport 2 in a stainless steel head, but we put the terillium insert, um, it was called 10 years later, T for terillium, 10 for 10 years nicknamed button back. The button back simply was they were button head screws in the three bombs to hold in the insert. But in between the terillium insert and the stainless steel, there was a vibration dampening in between there even 10 years ago like we do today. I wanted to put three red bombs in the back of the putter in the very back of the pocket. Um, but I found when I milled the hole in the back, I had the depth, but then I could put a button head screw to get the mound. And I wanted the depth of flat, low on the hole, high on the screw to create that. But they all had to be inside the pocket because I didn't want to see any button head screws sticking out from the back. So the button back, stainless steel 303, new port two head, that really became the modern head that was the first putter we put adjustable weights on. Learn that from the back of the detour had a single weight in the back. So the adjustable weights came from a shoe wrench, a golf shoe, and the spike, and there's holes in it. I used that actual spike wrench. That design became the weights that we could interchange to make heads heavier and lighter depending on the length so we could dial in the weight. But one of the key things here was the insert. It stopped here. And a lot of players would say that they saw the bottom leading edge here. So on the newer ones, let's do another one here. We got the top line, we got the toe, we got the sole, we got kind of this little loop here. We have a loop in this arena. We have the neck here. Um, nowadays, we have the same really style insert out of aluminum, and that comes around soft, but it falls off and it wraps around the sole, so you can't see it. A lot of guys said this area right here, they could see at a dress, but really, it all depends where you're set up, where your hands are, if it's back, hands back you can see more things um, there's no right no wrong if you see that I heard it enough to fix the issue which is now take that insert move it all the way down the button back we had talked about is a button head screw I was having three cherry bombs on a lot of putters and I didn't want to take away those bombs because you could tell what it was on TV and that was my advertising, is on TV. When you guys see those bombs, you know what it is. Thank you guys for listening. It's kind of a J-A-T, just a thought. But when you win a major on a unique putter like this, it's worth talking about. So I'm hopefully answered some of your questions. It's very cool that the, a putter from 10 years ago has made a major event and you guys notice those little things. So. Thank you for your brand loyalty to Scotty Cameron and Tidelist and keep the questions coming. Thanks a lot.